Hi there, Kawa here. Um, Merry Christmas to my viewers who are watching on the day it is uploaded, which is Christmas Day. So, for this video, I am going to be playing one of my, air quotes, serious teams. Uh, it's going to be a team that, uh, you know, you're not going to see me usually play because I like to have fun. And this is something I will only really use if I feel like I need to do it in a serious fight. But it's also to celebrate the fact that I picked up my Edo Itachi today. So here he is, right here, my Edo Itachi. Uh, he's standing on move two. Uh, actually, it'll be easier if I just showed you guys in the formation. So it looks like this, the formation. Uh, as I always tell you guys, I prefer to make it in a way that if you run into a Edo Hiruzen, he doesn't get to um, attack more than two people at a time. And he only has a 1 in 3 chance of hitting two people. And obviously I like to put the move 1 behind, I mean in front of the move 4. So it does like mitigate a little bit of damage. Seeing that, the, you know, the overall damage is going to be high on the move 4. But the move 1 doesn't take as much. Uh, but yeah, that's besides the point. Uh, you guys are here to talk, uh, to hear me talk about Itachi. So, he is one of the literal best supports in game uh, simply because he has everything <laughs> he has a CC that removes boss and shields so you no longer have to worry about root of the warrior or flower guard just put them under Izanagi uh, the thing is this is technically not supposed to be Izanagi this is actually supposed to be Izanami because Izanagi is the thing that Danzo does where you know he doesn't get killed uh, this should be Izanami but, oh well, that's besides the point. So, yeah, you could, you know, target anyone who has, like, lightning armor or something. Let them do their lightning armor, then put them to sleep. It's hilarious. So, lightning blitz is not really a thing anymore, um, unless you could stop Itachi from doing this. So, he makes the uh, matchups more fair. But at the same time, he's relatively new. Well, not relatively, he is new. And, um... He's not cheap, so I, uh, not that many people will have him. So you guys are safe for now. But when he's more readily available, uh, Lightning Armor Blitz teams are not going to do much. Because Itachi will just tag you with the sleep. And, you know, strip you of your ability to attack. Uh, so as usual, he has a undodgeable standard attack. But instead of the sweep that he normally does with the Totsuka Blade, he's going to do the Yasaka Magatama, which attacks uh, Rose. Uh... And it does knockdown instead of his usual repulse. And he obviously keeps his Amaterasu as his chase. Uh, no changes there. But the next thing is this most important thing about him. He gives up immunity in exchange for his mirror. But his mirror also has the ability to nerf the first two times someone does pure ninjutsu damage to you in a round. And it gets reduced by 50%. So that means a Hiruzen fully buff firing his damage just instantly gets halved for no reason. And it just makes him a lot weaker. Uh, it'll handle the issue of, you know, people who run to Hiruzen. And, it, you know, I know a lot of people like to cry about the skies falling when they run to Hiruzen. Um, yeah, you slap a touch on your team and you can laugh at him. Because he just, like, nerfed his damage by 50% just by being there. And he also obviously has his Crow Clone, which is his nice little chase. Uh, it says it has a high chance of evading chases. Uh, I actually want to say it has like a 99% chance of avoiding chases. I rarely see him get caught in a chase. It's better than um, Kage-sama Madara's rates. It's ridiculously high for no reason. So, uh, that's Tachi. So, um, this is my team. You guys know I cannot resist playing Chaos Water. I haven't played it in a long time. It's Christmas. I am playing it. I, I need to hit people with shark bombs every once in a while. So, nothing here to see, really. Uh, actually, there is something to see. My skill here... Oh, never mind. Um, it, it showed nature um, energy gathering. That was not right, but it's neurotoxin, clearly. Uh, so, yeah, with this team, uh, I don't actually need to take the healing jutsu, seeing that their chances of getting blitzed are relatively low. You have the ability just to sleep them so they can't um, blitz you. 
and Atachi already just has Hiruzen's damage, making it so you don't really need to heal, you can be more aggressive with the water main. You take the water whip, so you can be more aggressive. Uh, you, you take the section blade so that, you know, you can always get the chase. Uh, the 100% crit is always a 100% chaos, so it works beautifully with the whip and uh, Atachi's undodgeable standard. And the rest of them is just relatively basic. Um, Gamachu uh, hitting people with his water gun and then boosting your damage by 40%. Uh, the first time, you're not going to notice much of the 40%. But after the first time, the second time around when he comes around, which is, I believe, at round 6, if you make it to round 6 against me, you had obviously been hit by Gamariki so many times that your resistance at literal zero. This water gun, 40% on me, can easily put me over 10k on a shark if you get caught by it. And at that point, my crit should be almost at near 100% because experimental uh, ninjutsu cranks it up by 5% each time. Uh, okay, so I know some people might be asking why I have a uh, Hokage Minato here as the move 3. The move 3 is a very flex spot here. You can choose um, almost anyone that's a DPS, uh, whichever you prefer. I prefer Minato here, seeing that he like he is a very good unit to use to pick on Naruto, 6-path uh, Naruto. Because the same things that Naruto uses, well, not uses, that he abuses is really um, his weak point at the same time. That's why when two Naruto stare down each other, they can't kill each other. Um, so you abuse that fact by having Minato here, who will dodge his mystery, and so that his mystery cannot be interrupted by Naruto, and then uh, he'll slam him down with the Rasengan Barrage. And then on top of that, his uh, kunai, his flying Raijinjutsu, is undodgeable, Oh no, not his Raijin, Flying Raijin, I'm stupid. It's Raijin Slash. I'm so, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, his uh, Slash is undodgeable. He can proc it twice a turn if he, you know, has the mystery. And he's scaling. That's one of Naruto's main weaknesses. He can't handle a scaling dodger because he himself has a limit to how much he does. And there's especially a limit to how much he can heal. Uh, and Minato is just gonna pick on him all day with his uh, kunai and his standards while growing stronger and avoiding damage from Naruto like his standards Naruto standards are sh not that strong it's really his mystery but if you hold back and you do standard first then mystery to bait Minato you don't get the lower CD on Naruto so it kind of defeats the purpose so this is why uh, I use him here to more or less pick on him and uh, this nice Sakura here uh, summer Sakura she is literally the best healer in game. Seeing her Katsuya slugs are really tanky, and um, they are the ones who do the healing. So CCing her is not enough. If she has a slug out, she also can lower the CD on her uh, heal. Her heal is massive, by the way. Um, even at move four, it is massive, and she also has the ability to revive and dodge. Um, great unit, though she would probably be one of the first to die if, you know, you go into a strong fight. And, yeah, perfect timing. We had exactly three seconds on. Uh, let's attack somebody. Oh, let me get off auto. Alright, so this is the Hiruzen. <laughs> Even though he's half my power. That, that was a few hundred. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys, I'm just going to remove his shield and put him to sleep. Uh, also, I need to point out that his sleep actually hits really hard. Like, it hits harder than, well, it obviously hits harder than Susanoo Itachi's. Like, Susanoo Itachi one does like a few hundred. His did a uh, few thousand. Just keep that in mind when you run into him. His sleep is not weak. So yeah, um, because Itachi here is available for us people in the upper echelons of power, um, you guys should be worried about running at O Hiruzen. Because Hiruzen is going to do absolutely nothing. Um, this person is half my power, I understand. But 
he did a few hundred on me, and it was a crit. So, keep that in mind. If I can, I'll find you guys a stronger Hiruzen, um, and we'll see the new tweet. Uh, I already tested it with somebody, so I tested it with It's Not Personal, and yeah, his damage went from about like 6k crit to 3k, and it just tickled me. <laughs> he, he couldn't hurt any of the 1 through 3, and he, like, he put like Sakura in like a little bit of low life, and that was it. But she was a move 4, staring at a move, you know, 1, that's a lot stronger than me. So, um, also just a tip, um, when there's more than 4 units on the field, and you're using Gamma Riki, uh, not Gamma Riki, uh, Gamma Chu, um, don't target the Dodger with the Shark Bomb, but if there is exactly four, you can obviously just target the Dodger, because he's going to be forced to dodge from the summon, and then you're going to uh, hit him with the Shark. Uh, but if it's Pakun, you can just um, go after them. Because, you know, he'll be up forced to dodge Pakun. That's the best way to interrupt a Dodger's mystery. And I know that everyone has, you know, Gamma Chu. Unless you're, like, super invested in uh, Chaos Water, you're not going to have Gamma Chu. Or you really shouldn't have Gamachu because he's only good in um, a team with uh, Chaos Water. And, you know, Pakun's free, so you might as well just use Pakun. Yes. Oh, I also wanted to point out that um, up for consideration in this team, the move 3 could have been Edo Deidara. Uh, he was a consideration because he has uh, damage and he has the scaling, but I chose not to do him because, you know, his, ch his chakra consumption is ridiculously high. It's 60 to do his mystery, so he'll, like, never do mystery. But, um... He has supplemental damage with the summoning, so that's why he was a candidate. And you know, he fits in with the chase. Does he know? I don't know, is he know running a um, heroes in team or not? I think most of the people are probably out for Christmas. So, outside of us, uh, very dedicated players. They're probably not up. Look at that! That was like 16, almost 17k crit. I understand that they're weaker than me, but that's a chaos mystery that just did that much. You never ever will see Susano Itachi do that much damage on this chaos. Well, that, that's regular. <laughs> a move 2 hitting like a weaker move 3 on uh, Itachi standard. That's a, a regular occurrence right there. Anyone here? No, no one here. Uh, I'm just gonna kill B now. 14.5k. This person is closer to 200k. <laughs> but, that's still ridiculous. Uh, well, at least the fairer side of it is the fact that it has a 3 round cooldown. I don't like the fact that they don't explain it in the um, English one what exactly Dream is. 
Uh, but the dream state is a yes. sleep that cannot be removed uh, unless they have at least 30 chakras. <laughs> and you know, obviously they can't wake up from it either, from, you know, attacks. That's one of the things about sleep. Though they did do a typo in the name, you know, it's definitely not Izanagi. <laughs> I'm, it's definitely <laughs> uh, is a Nami, but whatever. <laughs> yes. Impressive that I didn't get any crits off outside of the 100% crit rate chase. Uh, who's this? Can I attack them? No, I cannot. Uh. I'm trying to understand this team. Um, yeah, I... I don't know what the Kushina here is for. That's the, my thing. Oh, wait, he didn't dodge? Oh. My bad! <laughs> I thought the uh, Kamarihi caught him already. Oh, well, that's my bad. I should have definitely just targeted it. Actually, no. If it, if it worked, it didn't matter if Itachi was there or not, because he can't purge to sleep. But yeah, I, I don't quite understand what the purpose of Kushina here is. Um... Yeah, I... I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm trying to understand it, like... But I don't see a reasoning why he is... He, she is here. Because... Uh, she, unless you're trying to use her as a tank. But... There's... Better ways to do that. And not with Kushina. And also, Atachi with Shisui is not that great either. Because Shisui's standard doesn't really hit that hard. And seeing that he has a cleanse and a root, he really doesn't need Atachi there to purge and let him attack again. It's, it's, I don't know. It's a thing I don't quite understand, but hey. Maybe someone can enlighten me. Would I click? Yes. Uh, this looks like a Nine Tails team. Right, I'm just going to do that. Yes. Um, yeah, but if this is a Nine Tails team. You don't want this Asuma to be your move one. You definitely want this Hashirama to be your move one. So that he does his barrier first, then your strong then your move two should be your main, who is the DPS usually for Nine Tails. And um Yeah. <laughs> That's like I'm like, mm, I don't get it. This doesn't seem like a good Nine Tails team, but it's definitely a Nine Tails team. I, I gotta say that. Also, it's better to have Hashirama in the front because um, if you somehow lose the shield from Uruka, uh, Hashirama can still heal himself. Hashi heals himself with, um, you know, at the beginning of the round, when you gain chakra, so I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I always set up my team like that where I have 
uh, Hashirama in the front as move one. Uh, okay, I'm just going to sleep you, and you're not going to be able to purge Jinpachi. Uh, this sleep is uh, so good, because there's literally nothing you can do about it on round one. You can't cleanse it, <laughs> and you're just stuck with it for the round. Hey, it's Itachi, right? We, we expect nothing less from the almighty Itachi. Also, I finally finished, um, yes. well not finished, I, I finally decided to fix my uh, tools, the scrolls, so I don't have to keep clicking the um, attack one. <laughs> I shifted it over so that the attack one's always on one, so I can just let it passively go. You know what? Uh, there's not enough people, I'm just gonna attack Hinoshi if I can't see her. Where is she? Oh, no, she's in here. Uh, there's my in attack. Are you someone? Oh, you are someone. Ooh! 140k! Um... Okay. I'm gonna... Tell you goodnight. <laughs> you can tell she had flower guard too. Just gonna say. <laughs> so... Yeah, um... At 140k, you probably shouldn't be... Investing so hard on units like that, but that's just me. Um, I think you'll be fine with KCM Naruto and Oroshi. You didn't have to invest in a Minato, but hey, that's just me. Oh, uh, dodgeable chase. Like, this Minato is not um, offering much in this team. He gets that, you know, one time where if you're faster than the opponent, you will interrupt them. But anyone worth half their ability of playing this game will know that you're faster than them in the first round because they'll see with their eyes that Aminato went before they, their move one went. So you would never cue your mystery into it. Um, but yet again, that's just my two cents, you don't have to agree with me. Oh, who just attacked me? Uh, excellent! This is a 200k person. Nice lightning armor, friend. I really hope I killed this dog. Nope, Minato didn't go for it. Damn it! Uh, I wanted to dog it out of the way so I can definitely hit them with the... Oh, there it goes. Uh, hit them definitely with the camera chew into the shark. Oh, that's poor Minato. Oh, actually, no, there's a slug. Never mind. He's fine. I retract my statement. So, we're gonna hit this nice Shizui. And in the process, catches uh, Naruto too. So, I just want to point out, even though I'm stronger than him, uh, if my Minato was like equal power with the enemy, and I, my Minato threw the kunai, that kunai would have definitely did at least 1k. And that's about half of what Naruto heals on a good day. Like, you know, there's four people and hits all four of us. That's, um, yeah, he'll heal about 2k. So one kunai hitting him, a non-crit kunai, already takes his lifesteal, and then uh, his standard will do more than his lifesteal, and, um, well, yeah, you, you get what I'm trying to say, it does more damage than he can lifesteal. That's why Minato is good for picking on those Naruto's. 
Because <laughs> he just has that kit built in where he just doesn't care. Yes? I always keep forgetting Rue of the Warrior is one of those passives that just makes you such a tanky person for no reason. Oh, Shadow's not here. I didn't even notice. Uh, no, I'm not gonna attack Gokin. I'm gonna be nice. Is there someone in this pile of people? No. Ha ha! Ha ha! It is Edo Hiruzen. All right, guys. She's a lot stronger than me. I just wanna. Test out that damage. Ow. Yes. Uh, that didn't count. <laughs> that, that was not a pure skill. That's a pure nin. Alright. Nope. Couldn't put him to sleep. Alright. Toby Rama is gonna be a problem. I don't deal with him. Yes. Oh, I don't think he knows how to fight back. <laughs> I really wanted to see that fire blast. <laughs> but estimating Toby Rama's damage with the buff. Uh, I think she would have did about 4k to me. Maybe 5. And then whacked me with the stick. And yeah, Itachi would have still been fine. It would still be alive. And then if I needed to, I could have just not went for the Dreamland and then instead went for the healing jutsu with uh, Sakura. Uh, that was my bad. I was supposed to actually heal Itachi. Oh well. So I also gotta say, I really hate the fact that Hiruzen is so goddamn tanky. <laughs> he just, you know, he has that old man tankiness. He gets tanky when he gets his life goes down. And it's kind of annoying to me. But yeah, this is just a sign to me that, um... My, whatchamacallit, my control is not high enough yet because my move 2 is not strong enough to sleeping move 1, who is stronger than me, so I probably need to swap out some, well I need to swap out his 8 gates definitely so that it's going to be control, control and combo again instead of life and um, life recovery which is one of mine. Um, oh, we still have three minutes? Okay, uh, what's the fight? Uh, I have no idea who this is. Oh. Oh, well, you're gonna take a nap, friend. Oh, no nope, friend, can't sleep me. I got a mirror. Interesting. I thought that was gonna be a clone. Oh, oh else? Yes. Uh, actually, I should have just uh, I should have killed her with Minato's mystery so that I save some damage because 
the water whip definitely hits harder than my move threes. Um, mystery. Oh, also another reason that I run Minato is also he easily provides you the high combo if you need it. Um, yes. Randomly casting people after they're done attacking is a very useful thing to have. Nope, I don't want to attack you. I'm going to place the lures over there. Uh, no, that's Hino again. That's not attack Hino. Uh, no one here. We got a minute. Hmm. This is awkward. And placeholder is killing really slow, so I don't know what he's using. Uh, who's this? Oh, you? Again? Yes. <laughs> I think I talked about it before, where this team is uh, oversaturated with uh, with like supports, uh, because you know Naruto doesn't scale. You obviously want a supplementary DPS. Uh, you can definitely drop this uh, Sakura here for more damage, or just like you know some supplementary damage. Or at least poison. Something. You need something. Alright. Uh. Damn it. I still couldn't take first? Really? How much did I lose by? Wow, I lost by a lot. Even though I got 13 or 14. Oh, wait. Wait, no. I think he took. Did he take Hinoshi's? Spree? He might have. That's probably what what happened. Um Yeah. <laughs> this is um one of my serious teams. If I felt the need to, I would definitely bring out this team to be serious. Um Yeah. So in other news, my bald friend here is not ready yet. He um I kinda ran out of awakening materials. I had to do, you know, Karin, Sakura uh, Itachi and Baldi? I don't have enough waking materials as you can see. I actually ran out of food too, that's why this Itachi's at level 104. So yeah guys, as soon as I get the stuff, I will show you a video of my bald friend here. Alright guys, have a Merry Christmas, see you guys later.